The music and entertainment team here at Heritage has put together a wonderful and unique collection of memorabilia for you to enjoy in our upcoming auction, November 13th and 14th in Beverly Hills. As we continue to become the preferred auction venue for archives and estates, this time around is no exception. We've got a stunning collection of archives, including the Edgar G. Ulmer State Archive, consigned directly from his daughter, Arian Ulmer Sipes. It is, it is our honor to offer the personal items from one of the greatest film noir and horror filmmakers of all time. These treasures include Ulmer's storyboards for The Naked Dawn, Ulmer's pre-production sketches for multiple projects, and many other artifacts directly from the filmmaker's personal archive. We also present the Bud Westmore Estate Archive, consigned directly from Miss Jeannie Westmore, his wife. The Westmores are Hollywood royalty in the history of makeup of movies. And this archive features original live cast of John Barrymore, Clark Gable, Charles Lofton, and Errol Flynn, as well as the Westmores prototype Wolfman mask, an amazing collection for fans of both Hollywood horror and Hollywood glamour. We're also proud to present a compelling archive of Sharon Tate memorabilia, which comes directly from Sharon's cousin, including a collection of personal letters written to the family by Sharon. Sharon Tate's signed items always command great interest, and the personal nature of these pieces reflect Sharon's love for her family and her climb to stardom. This is a rare opportunity to own some of the most personal Sharon Tate items we've ever offered at auction. Other highlights from November's auction include Nicholas Ray's signed set of contracts to direct Rebel Without a Cause, a prop globe used by Ken Strickfadden in the mask of Fu Manchu, Chandu the Magician, and just imagine, a Golden Age horror treasure. An original Ewok mask from the third film in the Star Wars saga, Return of the Jedi. A Gone with the Wind signed Final Shooting Script. Frank Gorshin's Riddler costume from the first episode of the original Batman series. Lee Harvey Oswald's apartment door from his 1962-63 to 63 Dallas residence, an item described by Oswald's neighbors in the Warren Commission's testimonies. And many, many other unique, incredible pieces. Check them out at ha.com slash entertainment. On the music end of the spectrum, we are once again proud to present a stellar collection of rare and vintage guitars. This collection of over 500 instruments includes a stunning 1956 Gibson Les Paul Standard all gold electric guitar, a 1960 Fender Precision bass owned and played by Elvis's legendary bassist Bill Black, a 1965 Gibson Firebird 7 sunburst electric guitar, and a 1962 Fender Custom Esquire Sunburst electric guitar. For the Beatles collector, we've got it all, from autographs and awards to posters and exceedingly rare Beatles memorabilia. With over 50 lots to choose from, this portion of our auction includes an autographed Please Please Me album cover signed by all four Beatles, a 1966 Toronto press conference vintage reel-to-reel -reel recording, and a stunning concert poster from the Beatles' final concert at Candlestick Park. As part of the continued celebration of the King's 75th birthday year, we present a huge array of Elvis memorabilia, over 100 lots in all, featuring I'm Left, You're Right, She's Gone, Sun 45, an Elvis-inscribed photo to George Klein from 1958, Elvis has signed Hume's High School Library card from 1948, Elvis's opal ring, and many, many more enticing Elvis items. The list goes on and on with signed guitars, gold music awards, concert use instruments, rare concert posters, and items directly from Buddy Holly's widow, Maria Elena Holly. We invite you to take a look at the auction online and join us for the event itself and real-time online bidding through our HA Live feature at HA.com. Happy bidding and many thanks for the music and entertainment team here at Heritage Auctions.